Each glass of wine is filled with a story of strong partnerships. It is through skill in the vines, cellar, and in the market that we can bring a moment of pure enjoyment to the one who finally opens the bottle. While its origins were humble, Pinotage today has been elevated to an exceptional expression, one that entices, pairs, ages, and earns respect. The reason why we're seeing great Pinotages standing up and being poured alongside um, all the best wines in the world today is, um, to a large part, thankful to the Pinotage Association. The research that they've done, um, both very culturally and from a, a wine making point of view, has, has allowed us to not only make the wines, but also create this image um, for Pinotage and improve the marketability of the wines internationally. And because of that, we certainly can feel a whole lot more confident in continuing our investments into the, uh, the wines and the vines and um, the way we make and produce Pinotage. South African producers keep pushing the boundaries of what can be expected from this cultivar. And their stellar results have piqued the interest of both local and international markets. A crucial lesson was that this wine is not made in the cellar alone. The work in the vineyards carries equal weight, and South African viticulturists have stepped up to the challenge, growing in leaps and bounds over the years. As a viticulturist, I can say that Pinotage is quite a difficult grape variety to understand, probably because it's South African. We have done a lot of research on the impact of terroir on Pinotage, a good wine, is made in the cellar, but a great wine starts in the vineyard. We need to respect the vine, its soil, and the environment it grows in, and we need to be able to manage the many challenges we have every season. It's been through understanding where the best sites for Pinotage are and experimenting with them that we as producers have been able to create so many wine styles that we can celebrate today. The immense work done on the farm and here in the cellar would all be for nothing were it not for the growth in the hospitality industry. Pinotage producers and wine farms in general have gone from being mostly farming operations to fully fledged fine dining and lifestyle retreats in just 30 years. Locally and internationally, South Africa has grown from a small, relatively unknown wine region to one of the top 10 global recognized regions in the world. It is amazing to see that we are now having restaurants and farm that has wonderful recognitions and hotels that boast with five stars. And of course, we have wines to showcase that experience. The industry has really become very inclusive. And that is what I love about it. It doesn't just focus on farming practices, sustainability, but it also focuses on elevating its people and I am testament of that inclusivity in the industry. A great winemaker once said, the perception of South African wine is not based on marketing done, but by what is in the bottle. In a country as beautiful as South Africa, it is definitely easy to convince people to take that first sip.